We've looked at adding color and contrast to our video and I've managed to do that here with these three adjustment layers. But what we also have to deal with from time to time is maybe if we're using a digital SLR to shoot our video, we may have the odd dust mark to deal with too, particularly if we've got sky in the shot. Well here I don't have a dust mark but I do have a bit of a problem with a highlight sitting on the leaves of the trees in the background. So what I'm going to do here is to deal with that using another layer. You can see we're working in what Photoshop calls video group 1. I'm going to go here and I'm going to add a new video group and it sits now above this one. What I'd like to do in this video group is to add a new blank layer. And I'm going to drag that blank layer out to match the length of my video. Because on that blank layer, I'm going to fix that little mark there. I'm going to use my healing brush. Spot healing brush should do it. So I'm just going to give a little touch to that. And of course, there are other things here that we may want to deal with. If there's any other highlights, that we feel are spoiling the video, we can deal with those. Now all we need to do is to render our video. Now as you can see we're back in Windows Explorer. There's nothing to stop us from previewing our video in Photoshop itself, but this does give me the opportunity to show the video full screen. And there you can see the little spot in the background has been removed. Remember too that we're working here with adjustment layers. So we can save all of the work we have here and we've got that added advantage that as we start to put the slideshow together if we change our mind and we want to adjust the contrast and the edge shading or the color of the video or even the spotting we can come back in here and do so. But to be able to do that, before we close this down, we would need to save this. So let's go to File, Save As. And I think I would be calling it something like Cooker Project. And it's saving it as a PSD and some other options here, but let's just save it. Because now we know we can always come back to this and pick up exactly where we left off. Now let me just demonstrate that by going to File, Open. I can go to the folder I was working from. There's my cooker project, if only I could spell. Actually it was a keyboard error, but nonetheless when I double click it, I've got everything back that I created earlier. Now you may have also noticed that I have adjusted the palettes on the right hand side here to suit the work that I'm going to do. I've never been a great fan of leaving every single option dotted all around the screen when some of them we never use at all and some of those we use very rarely. So what I tend to do is to stay with the tools that I use most which I think is the obvious choice. 